Would you like to create a tutorial request form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you're looking to add a little automation to your tutoring business or your educational institution, JotForm can help you with just that. Now, in order to create a tutoring form, there are two different ways that we can go about this. The first way is utilizing our form templates. So up at the very top of the page, I'm gonna go ahead and choose templates and then form templates. And from here, I can utilize the search option at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick search for tutor. Now over on the left hand side of the page, you can see that we're currently in types. If we collapse that section, we can jump to industries where we have education forms, or we can jump to professions and we can see that we have a few teacher forms as well. But for this example, I'm actually going to start from scratch. So I'm going to head up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and choose my forms. Then over on the top left hand side, we're going to choose that orange create form button. And for this example, we are going to start from scratch on the classic form. And let's go ahead and change the title of our form to tutor request form. And once we change the title of the form, it is going to also change the overall form name. Now over on the left hand side, this is where we're going to drag and drop any form fields that we need. So let's go ahead and choose add form element and we'll choose full name and email and we'll go ahead and change this to be student name and student email. And we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll choose a drop down and this one is going to be for the subject that they're looking to be tutored on and i'm going to go ahead and edit these options and let's enter in four different subjects we have math history language arts and science and next let's go ahead and add in another drop down and this is going to be topics now one of the great things about utilizing jot form is you can make this form be exactly what you want it to be for this example i want it to be one subject and one topic per form so if someone wants to have a tutoring session on language arts and on science, they're going to need to fill out the form twice. Another thing that we can do with JotForm is we can play with some conditional logic. So one thing that we can do is we can say, let's say whenever someone chooses math, the topics are only going to be math topics. So let me show you how to do that. First, let's go ahead and edit these topics. And I'm going to put in some different math topics, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. And let's go ahead and change this to be math topics. Perfect. And I can choose my properties. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this field and let's change this to history topics and we'll change the options. Perfect. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to choose the properties. We're going to duplicate. We'll change this to language arts. We'll edit the options. Perfect, again, we'll duplicate. And then last, we will change this to be science topics. Edit these options to be our final science topics, perfect. Now, another thing that we can do from here is if you know that certain students work better with certain teachers, we can offer to have a preferred teacher. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this field again, so that way we can add in preferred teacher and we'll edit the options to be our teachers. Perfect. Now we do want to make sure that the fields that are going to be shown for everybody are going to be marked required. So that name, the student email, and they're going to need a subject. And then we need for them to choose a preferred teacher. Now, another thing that we can add in is we can add in the short text option and we can make this be what concerns or what do you want to focus on during your time? And we can leave that one as not required just in case. Now, another thing that we can do is we can allow our students to choose the day that they would like to tutor with us. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and choose the date picker. We can bring that in. Perfect. Now let's say that you would like to charge for your tutoring services. We can absolutely do that on the left hand side. I'm going to jump over to our payment gateways and I'm going to go ahead and choose PayPal business for this. And we can see we have a 30 minute session for $30 or an hour session for 55. Let me go ahead and connect though. 
And we can see right now we're currently on sell products. This is also going to be the same thing you're going to use for selling services like tutoring. But if you'd like to have it be a user defined amount or even by donation, you can do that as well. But let's go ahead and continue. And this is where we're going to add in those services. And it really is simple. We just can create a new product or service. We give a name, a price, a description. And if you'd like to add an image, you can do that as well. But as of right now, I think we are good with these two sessions, the 30 minute and the hour. Now, before I show you more information about the conditional logic I mentioned, we can change this to fit our brand. So I'm gonna choose that form designer right up here and we can change the overall color scheme of our form. We can make it fit us. We can even change the page color, which is going to be this background right here. But I'm actually going to bring in a picture. Perfect, this is the same one that we have on our tutoring website so I have a very cohesive feel. Now we can jump over to styles if you want to change the question spacing, maybe make it a little bit smaller. We can change the fonts. Maybe we want it to be Roboto, simple as that. Now let's head up to that top middle button. We're gonna choose settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose conditions. And this is going to be where we're going to utilize that custom logic to show hide those fields. So if our subject is equal to math, we're going to show the math topics. Perfect. Now we're going to do this again for each subject. So if the subject is equal to history, we're going to show the history topics. Again, subject is equal to language arts. We're going to show the language arts topics. And if the subject is equal to science. We are going to show the science topics. Perfect. So we have one for each one of our subjects. So let's go ahead in the top right hand corner. Let's preview the form and we can see what this looks like. So we can see that none of those topics are shown. They're all hidden until our user chooses a subject. And now we get to choose what that topic looks like. Okay, one last thing. If your institution or you as a tutor have your own website and you would like to embed this form on your website, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna head over to the Publish tab. And then on the left-hand side, we have our embed option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to copy this code. And I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my website. I already have one that is built and ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add a section. And this is currently in Wix, but whatever website provider you are using, it will work there. On the left-hand side, I'm gonna to choose to add an element and we are going to choose the embed code option. Anywhere that's going to be able to embed HTML, that is how you'll be doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in that code and update, perfect. Now we can go ahead and drag this to fit our website and we're done with this. We can X out of that. Let's go ahead and make this fit our website perfectly. And we are good to go. Again, if you have mobile view, make sure you edit the mobile view too, just to make sure your form fits perfectly within your website. But I think we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and publish and let's take a look at what this looks like on our website. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. We have our tutor request form. So let's go ahead and give this a fill out. And let's say Jasmine wants to learn a little bit more about history and let's do the middle ages and we will say Mr. Samuels for her. And let's do the fall of the Roman Empire is what we need more information about. Now let's go ahead and choose our date. Let's go ahead and jump down to February and we'll say we need next Tuesday for a 30 minute session. We're gonna choose debit or credit and submit and we are good to go. So let's go ahead, jump back over into JotForm. We're currently in the Publish tab, but in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna choose Form Builder. We're gonna jump over to Tables, and we see Jasmine's information right here. We have her history as her subject, Middle Ages is the topic. We have Mr. Samuels, 30-minute session, paid by card, and we wanna focus on the fall of the Roman Empire. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm for your tutoring services, please let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.